All right, guys, what's going on? I'm back uh, because uh, since I did buy this trigger gauge and I did a trigger uh, pull test on the MP5 before and after its spring upgrade, uh, had to come back and test out the triggers on this. Uh, you'll see I got the exact same gun. A buddy of mine uh, loaned this to me so I could test out the trigger pull. Um, when these guns came out, uh, we both bought one because uh, we loved it. So we both bought the same gun. And it's actually working out right now because now we can find out uh, with this bone stock Ruger 2245, nothing done to it. You can see it still has a sticker on it. Um, nothing done to it at all. See how that uh, will be different with the one that I did a complete overhaul on. So uh, as you can see, coming back to this, if you watch the other video, I did decide to go ahead and put the shatter rail on from Tandem Cross. Um, it's a better rail. Uh, so I went with that, and I, I went ahead and got the uh, the Hogue uh, finger finger grips. So this thing all all done up with the red dot on it. I mean, this thing is just awesome. I can't wait to get out there and really start planking with it. So uh, let's see what the what the gauge says, um, and and just see what happens. Now, bear in mind that all of the stuff that I upgraded from Tandem Cross uh, should not or will not actually decrease your trigger pull. Um, they say the hammer bushing can do that, replacing that, um, because you're removing those springs and those extra pieces that require the mag to be in to uh, pull the trigger. So removing that, they say, can uh, reduce your trigger pull. I think it would be negligible, so um, probably you wouldn't really notice uh, much unless it was on uh, like a digital gauge or a gauge where you, you would trust it to be accurate. So... Uh, we know that if you watch the other video, I polished a bunch of internals in here, polished the sear, polished a couple of the other things, the trigger bar and whatnot. Um, that is where you're going to get the reduction in trigger pull. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's do the stock one first. Uh, we are clear. Nothing in the mag. Nothing in the chamber. Uh, Okay, putting about three quarters of the way down, about halfway, halfway over. Just shy of four and a half, about four pounds, five ounces. I was just, it's right in the middle of four and six, so I'll just go six. Four pounds, six ounces. Do it again. Four and a half pounds again, it looks like. Well, that's not focusing in there, man. There we go. Four pounds, six ounces. Just, just shy of four and a half. Let's do it one more time. The trigger isn't bad on the stock pistol. Um, and you can see from the gauge. So all three pulls were nearly identical. About four and a half pounds, four pounds, six ounces. So I'd say the trigger gauge is uh, accurate enough. So let's see what happens now uh, with my overhaul. Um, all right, we are clear, magazine's out. Nothing in the chamber. All right. Three and a half. All right.
three pounds, four ounces. Three and a half pounds at a time. Three and a half, three and a half again. Three and a half. About three and a half again, three pounds, six ounces. All right, we'll stop there. I would, I would say without doing the math, and I'll, I'll put it in the video, uh, I think I shaved about a pound off of the trigger by polishing the sear, polishing the trigger bar um, from being bone stock. Um, there you go. So uh, visually and fun uh, function wise, uh, I love this thing. Uh, I recommend the trigger. The trigger feels good. It's nice and flat uh, as opposed to the curved uh, stock trigger um, and everything else that uh, that I put on from Tandem Cross is is definitely an upgrade. So uh, now all it is is just getting to the range and having some fun with this thing and uh, I'll get some videos up of that as soon as I can get down there. Uh, so alright guys, thanks for watching.